This deity is one of the favorites amongst the Pathfinder community. The god of ale, wine, and a good time. Welcome to Oh My Gods, Caden Kalian, here on Cardinal Ventures. Okay, I promise not to do that the entire time. Caden Kalian possesses the holy trait. His edicts are drink, free slaves, aid the oppressed, and seek glory and adventure. Acts of anathema include wasting alcohol, being mean or standoffish while drunk, and owning a slave. For you clerics out there, you become trained in athletics and are granted the heal spell as your divine font. He also grants you fleet step at first spell rank, touch of idiocy at second spell rank, and hallucination at fifth spell rank. For all of the other diviners out there who could gain access to his domain spells, his domains are cities, freedom, indulgence, and might. There is a lot more to understanding Caden Kalian than drinking and celebrating, though. As a mortal, he struggled to hold down a job most of his life because if he found out there was any immoral deeds or activities occurring within the company or establishment he was working for, he would simply leave. After many years, he realized that his calling was to free those that were being exploited, enslaved, or oppressed. This was a much more dangerous career to pursue, but one that gave him peaceful sleep at night and a real reason to celebrate a job well done. As a game master, do not sanctify a divine follower of Caden unless they pursue or seek to pursue freeing those who are being exploited, enslaved, or oppressed. Ale wine in a good time is not enough to win Caden over and receive sanctification. He is to be remembered for his bravery as one does not simply become a god on a dare. Thank you for joining me to learn about Caden Kalian, the accidental god or the drunken hero. Be sure to check out my review of the playtest classes, even though probably by now when this video is uploaded, the playtest has concluded. If you're not interested in that, be sure to check out the one shot that I wrote that was live streamed on YouTube, but has been re-uploaded as a VOD. My players were actually crazy enough to surprise me and show up cosplaying as their characters. That's how hyped they were. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the actual play podcast where I'm running Abomination Vaults and Quest for the Frozen Flame, either here on YouTube, Spotify, or anywhere else you listen to podcasts. I will talk to you in the next one. Take it easy.